In this video, I want to talk about, is your past who you are? And does your past, events that's happened to you in the past, control your destiny? And that might be a weird question because a lot of people say, you know, a leper never changes his spots. People never change. Well, I'm here to say that's BS. People do change. And no, your past does not have to control your destiny and doesn't have to impact your day in a negative way. It doesn't have to do that. The biggest problem is with the past. People focus on or they nurture or they feed the terrible things that's happened to them in the past or things that never turned out. Maybe something they did or something that's done to them. Like you have a job loss and you think, gee, I worked really hard at that job and I never got it. So when you go for another job, you bring that garbage or you bring those resentments or those thoughts into the new job. And then you're wondering why that job is not working out for you because you brought the old job with you. And it's same with relationships. When you, you go into a relationship and you got dumped or you, you had to get rid of the person and you say to yourself, I'll never find anybody. Uh, no one will ever love me. It'll never work out. I'll never have the home that I wanted to have. Those very thoughts will come true if you continue to think about them. They really were, will. We are what we feed. If you keep feeding it, we will become it. And your destiny will be that, what you think. Believe it or not, believe it or not, if you think you're an SOB or the world has done you wrong, you are going to be an SOB that day and you're gonna carry this victim mode with you. So we do become what we feed, we do become what we think about ourselves and how we feel about ourselves. It's a fact. Terrible things that's happened to people, we've done bad things to people. Maybe we didn't get the car loan. Maybe we told somebody off that we shouldn't have. A lot of things have happened in the past, but we can't carry that with us. We can't continue to think about those things and be hard on ourselves and keep feeding it. And it's, a, it's an example like this. If you came over to my house and I was watering the weeds in my backyard and then you came over the next week and the weeds were six feet tall and all the grass around was dead, you probably wonder, Terry, why are you watering the weeds? Why are you feeding the weeds with, nurt with water and looking after the weeds? And that's the same thing like when you think about negative things in your life, things that are not working out in your life. When you harbor those resentments, when you harbor those thoughts and, you're, and you keep thinking about it, you bring that with you into all your relationships, your work relationships, your romantic relationships, all your relationships, you bring that with you. The last chapter of your, your life has not been written. So stop writing in your mind and in your views about yourself and new things that happen to you, stop writing what the conclusion will be because that's what you're doing when you bring all this BS from the past into your future, into your daily life. You need to stop thinking about it. It's not your destiny. The gifts of life will still happen to you, but you need to give yourself a break. You need to relax and give yourself a break. And how do I do it and how do you do it? I'll give you a few simple tips. It may be different for other people, but first of all, I stopped talking about it. Yeah, that guy left me or that gal left me. I didn't get the bank loan to buy my house. Yeah, I wish I was in a better job. I made a lot of mistakes. I quit talking about the negative BS that's happened to me in my life. First of all, we need to stop talking about it. Every time you talk about it, what somebody's done wrong to you, you reopen the wound the psychological or emotional wounds. You just keep reopening it over and over and over. And I know you have to go through a season or a time to grieve things and get over things. But a year, two years, five years, if you're still thinking about the same thing, you might want to take my advice off this video and stop talking about it. That's number one. Number two, what you want to do is when these thoughts enter your mind, and I get it, sometimes they just come by themselves. Maybe something, you drive by a house or you smell something, you drink a coffee, and you think about something that's happened to you in your life. Or maybe in a job situation, the exact same thing happened in your other job, and you start thinking, oh no, I'm going to lose this job too. When those thoughts come into your mind, simply kick them out because they're not true. It's, they're not reality, they're really not. They're in your mind, that's where they lie, but just kick them out. It's like going to the gym, 
First of all, you lift light weights, and before you know it, you lifted heavy weights, and the same thing it is with mental exercise. When those negative thoughts are things that's happened to you in the past, that's been traumatic to you, or something you feel guilty about, just simply kick them out. Focus on what you are doing. This will be hard at the start, but eventually you'll get pretty good at it. Soon the negativity comes in your mind, you'll be kicking it out. You really will. It's very hard to stop thinking about the past with all due respect. It really is. But over time, you can. Over time, you can give yourself that emotional and mental freedom to enter new relationships. Just get out there and enjoy your life. You can enjoy your job. You can enjoy what's going on in your life. But it's really hard to enjoy life when we're hanging on to the past. And if we hang on to the past, guarantee it, your future will look much like the past. So let it go. Let it go. Your past is not your destiny. There's no future in the past. There really isn't. And the one thing I really love and I always say, the last chapter of your life has not been written. Let's get out there, have a joyful life, Take it on it with full esteem and realize something, realize something, that your destination, your tomorrow can be a lot greater than your past. Stuff's happened to us, but it doesn't need to continue. It really doesn't. This is the untwisted voice of Terry G. And as usual, look after yourself because it shows. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Thank you.